In this video, I will show you the smallest home automation project which I have ever built which sits easily inside my palm and using which we can easily control our plants with the help of blink cap and the manual switches along with its real-time feedback. I also connected a port to connect the IR receiver so that in future we may add a new domain to control our plants with the help of IR remote as well. So let's quickly get started with this video. So we were able to shrink down the PCB size of the project by using the SMT components this time. We even used the ESP32 module rather than the ESP32 development board to make the size way more smaller. So first of all, let me show you the schematic of the project. So here is the schematic of all the components connected with each other for making this particular project. Don't worry, I'll be attaching the high quality schematic uh, image in my article whose link you can find in the description. So you can later download that schematic uh, in case you want to make this project on your own. Now after that, what I did is rather get getting all those small little tiny assembly components and manually shouldering onto the PCB, I directly went to the GLC PCB assembly assembly service. Well, I don't know about that. Let me guide you. So GLC PCB also provide the SMT assembly service in which they will give you the PCB with all the SMT components already shouldered onto the one of the surface of your PCB. Now let me guide you with how to use the SMT assembly service. So first of all, after making the schematic of your project, you first need to convert that project into the PCB. Now one thing which you need to note here is that uh, if, you, if you want to use the SMT service, SMT assembly service of GLC PCB, the component you choose must be available under GLC PCB assembled section. So for example, if I want to place this 4017 decade counter IC, so yeah, it is available in this GLC PCB assembled option. So I can choose this and I can be sure that this IC will come already shouldered on the PCB. And if the component is not available, I think it will rarely happen. But if it is not available, I'm sorry, your PCB won't get that component shouldered on it. Okay, sorry. So here's the PCB file of my project. Now after that, you just need to download the Gerber file, first of all. After that, go to the glcpcb.com website. After that, I will click on Port Now button under the SMT assembly. After that, just upload the Gerber file of your PCB project, which you just downloaded. After that, you can select the number of PCBs and color masking if you want. After that, select the SMT assembly service. And here, you have to select on which surface you want your components to be shouldered. Now here you can select only one surface, so I'll recommend you to put all the SMT components on one of the layer of the PCB. Now here I'll select the bottom side as most of my SMT components are on the bottom layer. After that, click on the confirm button. Now here you have to upload two files. One is the bill of materials that's BOM and other is the pick and place file. Now to download those files, just open up that PCB project onto your EasyAD account. Click on files and select export BOM to get the BOM file. After that, click on files again and select export pick and place file. After downloading both the files, just upload those files here onto this page. After that, select next. Now here it will show all the SMT components which are to be shouldered and it will also show how is the quantity and is this product available in the inventory or like all the details it will show in this particular page. After confirming all the components, just click on next. Now here it will show you the orientation of all the SMT components onto your PCB. Now in case they are not properly placed, don't worry, it's the error of the software. Uh, your components will be uh, shouldered in proper manner only. After confirming everything, click on save to cart. Now here select the delivery method and just place your order. Now in my case, after placing the order, I received this PCB after around 20 days. So here are the PCBs. As you can see, all the SMT components are neatly shouldered, which looks really very professional. So you can also try using the SMT assembly service to get all the SMT component shouldered onto your PCB. So after getting this, we are still left with shouldering a couple of more components like relay, power supply, terminal connectors, etc. So one by one, we shouldered all the components on the PCB and after shouldering all the components, our PCB project looks like this. Compact beast inside our palm. So that is all about the hardware part of the project. Now let's move ahead with programming this tiny little module. So we'll be programming this ESP32 module with the help of the ESP32 development board and for that you have to make the connections like this. So here is the code used for this project. Now let me tell you one thing. Now the code and the Blink project used in this video are exactly the same which I have used in one of my previous video which was about internet and manual control or motivation project using Blink. Now the only difference between that project or that video and this video is that 
this project is exactly the same but its size is way way more smaller than the previous one the rest of everything like coding the relay connections and the blink project are exactly the same so in case if you want to understand the code and you want to understand the blink project as well do watch out that video for the reference purpose so now in the arduino i'll select the right board right port and directly hit the upload button now for clicking the upload button on the pcb i'll press and hold the boot button and press the reset button once to make this module go inside the boot mode as you can see the code started uploading okay so the code is successfully uploaded so after that what we did is we installed this project in one of the switchboard at tech sms studio according to this connection diagram now be aware while making the connection i'll suggest you to turn off the mains before opening the switchboard so now we are done with all the steps for this project and now let's just turn on the power button and let's see this project in action as you can see we are easily able to control the appliances with the help of blink app now let's just jump on to the switchboard and let's see if we are able to control the switches or not okay so we are able to control the appliances with the help of switches along with its real time feedback onto our blink project so yeah our tiny little home automation project is successfully working now do, do press the like button if you really like this project and if you want to make this project on your own let me know in the comments like do, do you want me to make that next project about controlling all the appliances with the help of manual switches and IR remote and Wi-Fi and everything if you want if you want do, do let me know in the comments of this video and I do have this uh, project like five of this project out of that one of uh, uh, the project which I'll keep it with me rest of four I'm planning to put it on sale so do check out the link mentioned in the description uh, which will take you to the purchase page of this project so if you are interested in purchasing this project go ahead click the link and like if you really want it you have to be really quick because I only have four of this PCBs like only four projects uh, to be sold okay so go ahead click the link if you want to purchase it and that being said I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and explore learn share with me Techie SMS